This topic, you will learn the features, benefits, as well as how to list and edit read-only pages. Now, read-only pages are used to list records associated with the function, allowing you to view the record prior to making any modifications. Now, you access them from the read-only pages module within the navigation pages. Now, from the list view, you can select the display from the action icon, review the read-only record, and select Modify, which takes you to the classic page to make modifications. Now, one of the best features of the list pages is the ability to export to Microsoft Excel or create a template in Word, export, and be able to update that data. Let's take a look at the read-only pages. As mentioned, you start at the navigation page and then go to the read-only pages module and then select. As you can see, here you have the blocks divided by module, as in financials, APR accounting, fixed assets, etc. Now, we'll go to common data and customers to show the, the example. As we select customers, it shows in a list. It allows you to view a record, select the record you would like to display the details on, and then modify the record if needed. Now above, you always get a path to the function and what endpoint or folder you're in. As you see, the display shows in records in groups of 20. You can select a different group. What you change it to will stay at this function the next time you access customers. To go to the next group, you just hit the arrow to go on to the next group. Now each column has a filter and a sort, also the ability to rearrange the columns. The different options that you have for each column. I can actually sort the columns, as mentioned earlier ascending or descending, I can also rearrange the columns. Now you can display a record in two different ways prior to editing. You can hit the hyperlink on the record that you would like to display and then go back. You can also use the action icon and display as well. Now, once you view all the details of the record, and viewing the details, I can go to the different tabs to show the different details of the record. You can go back to your list also in two different ways before editing. To go back, I can click on List and select the record again. And I can go back by just clicking on the back arrow here as well to go back to my list. Now you also have several different ways and to be able to get to editing the record. Now I can select the record and select edit here to edit the record, which it actually takes me to my classic pages to be able to edit. I can go back just by clicking on close page, as well as being able to edit after display which again takes you to your classic page. Now along with being able to create a brand new record from the edit mode, you can also create a new record right away. Be without even selecting an edit, you can just click create, which actually takes you to the classic function allowing you to create a brand new record, gets you in that mode to create right away. Now last but not least, there's a great feature when you're in the read-only mode and the list view, you can use Microsoft Excel to export or Word to create templates to export data as well as being able to update the data within the Microsoft functions. Now to get back to your navigation pages, you can just click the navigation icon. So now you've learned features, benefits, as well as how to navigate through read-only pages.